Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Lexington Watercolor News. My name is Rock Daniels, the Bluegrass Realtor. Today is Tuesday, March 28, 2023. Now, in weather today, the high is going to be 51 degrees and the low is going to be 31. The sun's going to rise at 729 this morning and set at 757 p.m. Now, a staffer for Senator Rand Paul was stabbed multiple times in Washington, D.C. on Saturday, and the suspect has been arrested and charged with assault with intent to kill. The victim was hospitalized for treatment of life-threatening injuries, but further information about their condition was not available. Senator Paul has asked for privacy for the victim and their family. Now, the University of Kentucky Dance Blue Marathon raised over $1.6 million for cancer research, surpassing last year's amount by $200,000. Now, since its launch in 2006, the Dance Marathon has raised over $20 million for the cause. Now, the funds will be donated to the Golden Matrix Fund, which provides support to children and families at the Dance Blue Kentucky Children's Hospital Hematology Oncology Clinic. Now, more than 600 students participated in the event held at Memorial Coliseum. The first time spectators were allowed to attend the 24-hour Dance Marathon since 2020. Now, the Fayette County Public Schools have responded to the lawsuit filed by the suspended principal of Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School, Marlon Ball, stating that they acted in good faith in addressing Ball's performance and conduct. Now, the district denies any damages and or adverse job actions alleged by Mr. Ball. Now, claiming that they were caused by his own conduct and performance. Now, Ball's lawsuit claims district officials' statements to the media created a casual link to form Dunbar Athletic Director's Jason Howell's death to his. Now, the school district denies the statements were uh, defamatory, slanderous, or libelous, and that Ball had suffered no damage to his reputation. We'll see how that works out. Now, Governor Andy Bashir of Kentucky signed two pieces of legislation aimed at uh, curbing hazing and driving under the influence laws. Now, Senate Bill 9 named Lofton's Law, or for, uh, for Thomas Lofton, uh, Hazelwood strengthens anti-hazing laws in the state by elevating hazing that causes physical harm to a Class D felony. Hazelwood was an 18-year-old old freshman at the University of Kentucky who died because of hazing. Now, the House Bill 262, or Lilly's Law, mandates that a person is guilty of vehicular homicide when they cause the death of another if they are driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Now, Lexington, Kentucky has been ranked, yay, no, as the state's city with the worst traffic. I will attest to this. Now, according to a recent report by Traffic Data and analytics firm NREX, drivers in the city spend most time behind the wheel in Lexington, and it ranks 63rd out of 280 cities across the U.S. for tra traffic delays. Um, surrounding areas are not as bad, but traffic is worsening in Lexington. Now, traffic is expected to get worse during the summer, and drivers are advised to leave earlier when heading places to avoid distractions while driving. Please stop running red lights as well, people. Stop! You're going to kill somebody. A bill to decriminalize fentanyl test strips is being pushed for passage in Kentucky's General Assembly. Now, the Kentucky Harm Reduction Co Coalition has been distributing the strips via a pilot program since 2021. Now, House Bill 353 has bipartisan support and awaits consideration in the Senate. Now, it clarifies that fentanyl test strips are not drug paraphernalia and requires the state to conduct a fentanyl education and awareness campaign. Now, if passed, the legislation will empower people to make informed decisions about the substances they are using and reduce unintentional harm caused by providing these strips. Well. Guys, that does it for another edition of Lexington Watercolor News. My name is Rock Daniels. I am the Bluegrass Realtor. For all your Central Kentucky real estate needs, make sure to please hit that subscribe button so you and I can stay connected. Thank you so much for stopping by. Look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Have a good day.